Hi everyone, it's Alana from Cross Nappy Workshops Melbourne. Um, I'm just going to take you through, I guess, my thoughts on disposable liners um, that you can use in cross nappies. Um, I get questioned about this sometimes um, for parents just wondering if um, it's worth using them uh, alongside their cross nappies or whether they're a bit of a hassle. Um, so yeah, let's cover that um, right now. So if you haven't seen them before, um, disposable nappy liners look like so. They are um, really thin. Um, they are in fact a disposable product. Um, and you definitely don't flush these. Uh, even if the label says flushable, um, what flushable means is technically speaking, they can fit through your toilet system and be flushed down. Um, that doesn't mean that the water and sewage authorities want you to, um, or whether it's actually a good idea. So yes, they might be technically physically flushable, um, but yes, a lot of the local authorities will say, do not flush them. Uh, only pee, poo and paper can go in. Nappy liners are a no. So yeah, pretty lightweight, um, pretty flexible. Um, they come in a really big roll, like so. This is a gigantic amount of liners. So this is the actual um, amount we purchased, um, thinking that we would definitely, definitely use um, disposable liners with our cost nappies. We just thought, yep, that will really help with the washing side of things and make our parenting life easier. Um, you can see though, we really didn't get through many at all. I think we probably used them for two weeks straight um, and then just got a bit fed up with them. And the reason being is they are a little bit fiddly to use with each nappy. So um, here's just a cross nappy, um, regular cross nappy. So I open it up. How they're um, used is you um, would line your nappy with the um, disposable liner and then you would put that on your baby and it's supposed to be a barrier between your baby and the nappy so that if they do soil the nappy um, you can just lift that soiling away and the nappy beneath is relatively unscathed. <laughs> um, in reality though I found that I would put the liner down, um, baby would move over the course of the next few hours when they were in their nappy and the liner would sometimes creep to the side and even though I had a liner on, the poo would still end up on the nappy. So I felt a little bit fed up. I was like doing all this effort to try and use a liner and catch the poo only to find that the, the liner had shifted or bunched at the front um, and, and didn't sort of achieve what I wanted it to achieve. Um, so yeah, I stopped using them. But um, that being said, some people love them. Some people really find them helpful um, in their routines and it can be, um, the defining factor as to whether they will even use cross nappies. So um, I feel like I do support them in the sense that if that's what helps you get into the whole reusable nappy world um, and um, makes your life that little bit easier while you've got young kids and you're using reusable nappies, then by all means go for it. Um, you can definitely use cross nappies without and you do very much get used to renting or uh, washing cloth nappies to the point where you just don't notice that there has been a poo in there of soiling you need to rinse away you just very much get used to it so um, I think it's just a personal preference okay hopefully that was helpful um, has sort of explained what they are and how they're used um, and yeah stay tuned for my next episode <laughs>